Hello and welcome to the Nami Park Amazon Live channel. Today is Prime Day. I hope you are enjoying your shopping and I will be talking about some of the great deals happening on Amazon Live for the Prime Day, specifically Prime big deals that are happening on Amazon. Let's just jump straight into it. We have a Doors Hair Hair Extension Prime Deal for 30% off of these hair extensions, which is such a great price. You can actually see when you click through the product carousel, there are many different colors to choose from in the Doors Hair Hair Extensions that are made from 100% natural human hair. I specifically like the different variety of hair extensions that Doors Hair has. They have clip-on hair extensions, they have tape-in hair extensions, they have the flip-in wire hair extensions. That's actually one of my, my most favorite methods of wearing hair extensions is the wire hair extensions because it is extremely simple and easy to use. It's just one clip. It's also called a halo extension because it sits on your hair like a halo. Let me show you what it looks like in the hair. So you have one piece of hair weft that is going to sit on the back of your head. There are these really sturdy clips to help keep the weft in place. You are going to section your hair where you want the wire to sit, which is gonna be right at the base of the crown of the head. Hi, Adam! Adam says, whoa, it's the real live Nami. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. I don't think those clips would fit on my head. Adam, you may need, um, Toppers. <laughs> Toppers may be a better um, option than the wire hair extensions. Suction cups. <laughs> there are like glue on toppers that I saw on TikTok that are super, super natural looking and super um, fun. It's just like a nice thing to change up your look here and there. So I did actually unclip these clips so that I can stick them on my head what you do is you actually line it up here and then line it up at the bottom of this section and then you can clip it in place super easy it just clips to your natural hair once you let this down you'll see that it blends really nicely into the rest of your hair. And it only takes one weft of these flip-in hair extensions. These are the um, black ones. As you can see, I have a short one here. That's pretty close to my natural hair length, actually. But the wire to make it invisible, what I like to do is just scrunch my hair around the wire, pull it, and then pull it back and forth so it sits really nice close to my scalp. And the wire is basically invisible. But you have a little bit more volume. If you get a longer hair extension, you will have more length. But this one was my favorite beginner friendly hair extension because it was so easy to use. And you get that um, extra volume and the length without much time because it's only one weft for the flip-in halo hair extensions. Now they do have many different colors on Amazon. This is the ash blonde that I have on screen, but I am wearing a natural black right now. You can see it through my blonde bleached hair. They have uh, chocolate brown, lots of ranges of brown from 
jet black, dark brown, light brown, um, platinum blonde. They have ash blonde, medium blonde. They also have uh, different balayage colors as well. So this one, for example, is a dark brown to chestnut brown color that is more of a fade. I think the fade ones are really nice if you already have a balayage in your hair and your hair is highlighted or colored or let's say your hair is naturally uh sun bleached then it helps to have the color match your natural hair so it can blend seamlessly now to remove these it's really simple all i do is just unclip the clips by feeling them out in my hair and then pull the wire right off and then we can snatch our weave. Ta-da! <laughs> really simple, easy to use. I actually wore the clip-in hair extensions um, today for my nephew's volleyball tournament. Oh, do you want to see? Oh, no, I have it on my phone. I'm streaming off my phone. But my nephew had a uh, official volleyball tournament at his school. And um, I wore the extensions. I don't have any in right now, but the ones that I had in were the clip-in platinum ones. They're a little bit light for me, but I think it looked really cute. It looked like highlights in my hair. Welcome to the stream. How is everyone doing today? How are you, Adam? Are you um, still in Asia? I was planning to go back to Korea uh, next month, but we are postponing it to the spring. And um, I know the weather is like cooling down there. It's cooling down here as well, but um, I, I find Canada is colder than any other place that I know. Is anyone doing any prime shopping for Christmas? I know it's a little early for Christmas prime shopping, but I know that, um, around Black Friday, around uh, a little after October, that's when people usually start Christmas shopping, right? Because you wanna get all those deals before the actual um, holiday rush and holiday prices come up. So it's great to find a lot of these Prime Day deals so that if you want to stock up for Christmas presents or uh, if you want to treat yourself, it's a really good time. Let's talk about the hair extensions from Doors Hair that are tape in. The tape in extensions are a little bit different than the clip ons because the wire extensions I just showed you, these ones, they are removable throughout the day. So if you want to wear it for an event, you can throw it on, toss it off. If you want to wear it for um, a day you can wear it and then before you sleep when you get unready you can take it off and then with the tape in extensions let me see what I got. the tape in extensions are also very interesting because of the fact that they are semi-permanent they go aha uh -huh. here is the tape there is extra tape so you can reuse these tapes for your hair extensions they are semi-permanent they last several weeks let's see how long that they say the tape lasts up to four to six weeks and can be replaced as needed now i've heard that you can wear tape and extensions for up to six months if you take good care of them so these are the tapes that you can uh, replace because they have extra tapes these are the tape and extensions and the ones that i have are in platinum blonde but as i mentioned they do come in many different uh, colors and shades as well as balayage options. 
Welcome to the stream, Corey. Corey says, deals, deals, deals. Everything must go. <laughs> Have you found any good deals on Prime Day so far, Corey? These are on um, Prime Big Deal, their hair extensions. Hi, hello, 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 Corey. And um, they are about 15 almost $15 off of these tape and hair extensions. Let me show you what they look like. The tape and hair extensions, they are semi-permanent because they stick onto your natural hair and they stick onto themselves. So you sandwich them in with each other and you're able to have a long lasting hair extension for a semi-permanent wear. So you can see that they're very thin they're going to sit nice and comfortably on your hair. And I am considering doing a, a demonstration of an installation for tape in hair extensions. As I mentioned, they are semi-permanent. So you can wear them for four to six weeks, which is about a month or two straight. And then they are removable as well with uh, the tape in removable solution no deal why no deal that doesn't sound happy now I have these all in one length I believe these are 24 or 26 inch hair extensions but because these are made with a hundred percent human hair you can cut them, you can style them. After you put in hair extensions, it's actually good to blend them in with a razor or uh, hair shears or hair scissors so that they blend into your natural hair. Because my hair is about um, armpit length, these are gonna sit much longer. And from my natural hair, to the end of these hair extensions, I want them to blend nicely, not there to be like a sudden cliff here, and then to the end of the hair. And what I would do for my hair is actually color these similar to my hair color, or you can find hair extensions that are already your hair color, but you can dye and you can um, color the hair any color you like, because they are uh, natural human hair. So you can bleach it, you can dye it, you can um, stain the hair. And um, they do recommend you to take care of the hair with regular hair products like hair masks and such so that you are making sure that the hair stays moisturized and stays in top quality. Beautiful hair. Thank you so much, Corey. Yes, I think especially the quality of these Doors hair, hair extensions is the fact that they're very soft and shiny is what sticks out to me compared to other hair extensions that I've used. Now, this is an example of clip-ons that I have colored. And these also are These are platinum blonde, but you can see that I've dyed the bottoms pink. So cute. It's like a, a nice fade. I did a little ombre there. Now you can choose your density and your size of the hair extensions. You can grab some with just 10 pieces, 20 pieces, and 40 pieces. This is going to give you a different variety of volume for your hair, density for your hair, and you can choose lengths as well. Let me see what the smallest length. Yeah, 10 inches to 26 inches in length. This one is super long. I think it's like 24 inches, but you can see that I've colored the bottoms pink with a semi-permanent hair dye, which is a really, really 
nice, simple way to add a little bit of oomph to your hair. That is so cute. You know what? I might wear these for Halloween. I'm going to a Halloween party for, um, for the end of this month with a couple of my girlies, my girly friends. Let's actually see how this may look in my hair. I, I actually, now that I made that decision, I'm really excited <laughs> to dress up. Hmm, any suggestions what I should wear for the Halloween party? Maybe I should do like a, <gasps> what if I do like an Avril Lavigne look? Oh my gosh, I should do that because I loved Avril Lavigne as a kid. And didn't she have this hair at one point? Let me search it up. I can't be crazy. My memory is so good, I can't be making this up. Okay, let me see. Avril Lavigne, pink hair. I swear, she always had blonde hair. And yes, she did have pink hair. Oh, so cute. I love. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit different than um, what I'll do with my hair. But we have the, the blonde, we have the pink. I think I can do it. And her signature look is the smoky eye, so it'll be super easy to do. Welcome, Pudgy. Hi, Pudgy. How are you? Long time no see. But let's throw it on and see what it will look like because I am suddenly super excited to dress up like Avril Lavigne. I'll have to look at some of her outfit inspo as well. Outfit. So. Wow, people looked up her outfits from like 2001. Oh, <gasps> yo, this is a staple. Oh my gosh, maybe I should wear that. I think everyone will know I'm Avril Lavigne. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was like a huge fan of her when I was a kid. <sighs> so cute. So you do want to take care of your hair extensions with um, general hair care tips. I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good as well. It is Prime Day. Have you done any shopping for Prime Day? There's a lot of good deals happening that I'm very excited to share about. Nope, <laughs> I see. You know the greatest deals actually are in um, like beauty and home like toilet paper. <laughs> it's good to stock up on the things that you use often. Like face wash is always gonna be something you use. Hair care products. Speaking of hair care products, um, they do, Doris Hair does have a pamphlet that they provide with hair care tips. For example, they say that you do want to comb and brush the hair. You want to wash the hair with a shampoo every four to five days if you're wearing your hair extensions every day. You do also want to uh, use essential oils and trim the ends of the hair extensions because you're going to find some split ends in the hair extensions. It's just natural to what happens to human hair. So giving your hair extensions a little trim is going to make sure that they stay healthy. With hair extensions, you can uh, style these. These are Remy Human Hair extensions, and so they won't melt with heat styling. They do say that you should use like 320 to 390 in heat, and you should be able to take care of your hair extensions and wear them for a prolonged period of time. These are the different types of hair extensions they have. They have seamless clip-in hair extensions, clip-in hair extensions, wire hair extensions, and ponytail hair extensions. 
let's go ahead and try these colored ones on. I did put these on like a few weeks ago, but, and I straightened them as well. But we'll see how they fit with this hair color because I haven't worn these in this hair color yet. So what I like to do actually is to label my hair extensions. These are labeled B4. The reason why I label them is so that I can put them in in the right spots without having to think about where I put which hair extensions. These are R2, so I'll put them on the right side. We have L1, B1, and this will determine the order in which that I place my hair extensions into my hair. B2, R1, B5, L, R, and L. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna grab my comb. Actually, it's more like a brush. And I'm gonna brush out the pieces as well. Let's grab B1. And I will clip up my hair. I love hair extensions because they give you a nice new look, a fresh look. They add volume and length to the hair. And especially when you are trying to grow out your hair, it's a really nice, fun way to not have to wait long before your hair is technically longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair right at the nape here, clip everything up. Oh boy. You can see that I just have a little thin section for my Extensions. I'm gonna clip them on here and they sit really nicely. Then we're gonna do the next section over right here. And I'm using really thin sections so that we get a nice seamless application. everything and you can see how easy it is to stick these hair extensions in you get a brand new look or an enhanced look if you actually want to throw in some hair extensions that are a little bit more voluminous a little longer. Okay, I'm gonna do two more sections here for the top. And 
the stick it in here. And the final clips. Now, sometimes I find that my hair does show the clips on this side, but that's easily fixable with some hairspray. <laughs> you can see it sticking out here. And the right color choices as well. Making sure that the colors you choose for your hair extensions is going to blend nicely. You can see my roots are black, so you can see the hair extensions because they are blonde, but they're gonna they're gonna hide really nicely when it comes to the color shade. When you have the right colors for your hair. I might actually tie up. Hmm, I wonder what I should do for my Halloween party. Hmm. Okay, let's put the bottom on. I mean the sides on. And then we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go a little bit vertically here, I mean diagonally. Oh, well, I cannot think. Now I am, I do have my, I do have my, um, whatchamacallit. I have my dark roots, so hopefully you don't see the trucks as much, but if you do, you know, it is what it is. It's so helpful to label your hair extensions so you don't have to remember which weft you used, how many more you have, and such. For this top one, I'm actually going to just place it horizontally. Have a nice long <gasps> it's so long <laughs> it's so long oh my gosh I might crimp this hair that would be very cute but Avril Lavigne always has straight hair maybe I should just have it straight she never curls her hair We shall see. Poor girly pop. Okay, let's do the other side. 
Oh, it's cute though. It's cute straight too. Maybe I should just do straight and then dress kind of princess punk. All right. The next ones. This one is three clips, so I'm gonna start here. Go down. Okay, now the second of this side. Ooh. And then I'm gonna put the final section. Oh, it's cute. I say that as if I'm surprised. <gasps> There's even more hair of the extensions than my actual hair. <gasps> and you can see how my natural hair blends seamlessly in. It almost looks like highlights. Yeah, that's cute. That's really cute. I might do this, straighten it. Do you think maybe if I straighten it, it would show my natural hair too much? Mm, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. If I straighten it like really well. Yeah, and then um, for the Halloween party, I might do a punk, maybe I should wear my husband's tie. I should wear my husband's tie so it looks more punky. And I can wear my son's army pants. <laughs> that would be really funny. Oh, so cute. These are really punky. Ta-da! I should definitely do that okay so these ones are clip in hair extensions and Doris hair does have a really good deal right now with their clip in hair extensions their flip in hair extensions which are the halo hair extensions they also have ponytail hair extensions which I could actually demonstrate with my hair right now Let's grab a hair tie, which I hope is here. There is no hair tie here. Let me demonstrate the ponytail as well. I'm going to brush this out. Grab a hair tie. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to tie up my hair and show you how you can get your 
hair super thick and a nice ponytail with the Doors Hair Hair Extensions that are made with 100% human hair. Okay, so I have my pony here. Actually, you know what? It might be better if I show you from the side. Let me show you like this. So, I'm going to create a side ponytail here. Just so you can see. Like this. And then, we have our pony extension. I'm going to grab the clip and stick it in to the hair right at the base of the hair tie. And then there is a little tail here that you can use to wrap around the end. Just Velcro on the Velcro, then wrap the rest of this tail over top of the connecting section. And then you can pin it in place with a bobby pin or another thin hair tie. And then you have a beautiful long and thick ponytail. It's really nice. Ta-da! Okay, to remove these, I'll just show you super quick. You just do the same actions but the opposite side. And then for the clip-ins, what I like to do is start from the top. So I just feel where the clips are. Then I can unpin it, pull it out. Feel it, unpin it, pull it out, and I just do this for the rest of the head. Super simple and easy. Wherever you feel it, you unclip it and you just pull it up. You can see my extensions under my scalp. Not under my scalp, but like, you know what I'm saying. So satisfying. here to pull out. I think, I wonder if I have to switch these positions. Maybe I can skip out on the very long one. Just because this is so much volume already. <gasps> so pretty! Okay, great. Now speaking of hair, if you do have dyed hair or if you have gray roots coming in, another great beauty product that is on Prime Day Deal is the Style Edit 
light blonde spray. This is called the Blonde Perfection and it is a root concealer for blonde hair. It helps to instantly touch up dark roots, gray coverage, any regrowth, and it is in a uh, hairspray type product. So you just shake it up and then you can spray it on your roots and use it to blend out the dark pieces of your hair. It's like a, a hair makeup. Let's spray a little bit right here so you can see what it looks like on dark hair. Now my hair is really black but we're just gonna show you what it may look like when you use it to conceal your roots. Oh my goodness, look at that. So you can see that it does lighten the hair by coloring it in. And it does come off with shampoo as well. Now this is formulated with um, color adaptive pigments that smoothly adheres to the hair fiber and self adjusts in terms of color to match the perfect shade. Look at that. That is so cool. The directions, all you have to do is shake it well, um, apply it to clean, dry hair, hold it four to five inches from your hair, move it continuously back and forth until your roots are evenly camouflaged. Then you let dry for two to three minutes and apply more if necessary. It does work in seconds and it has... Um, it is removable by shampooing it out. So you can see that it, it actually matches really well to my blonde hair. And it sits right on the hair so that you have that coverage. Now Style Edit has a bunch of other hair root concealing products available for their prime big deal as well. For example, the root powder touch up, that's this one here. It's going to be the same concept, but it comes in a powder form. And what that does is it conceals gray coverage. It helps to um, keep your hair color fresh between appointments. It has a color binding complex that helps to have your hair stick with the color in. And then it also is a very instant way to refresh your hair while having a temporary option of washing it out. So they have many different colors available. If you have dark hair, you can also use this. Let's say you didn't... Um, dye your hair a different color you just dyed your hair similar to your natural hair color but with gray coverage you can use the darker hair um color options to reduce the 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 um appearance of grays on your hair regrowth so they have cool black black warm black they have dark brown series that matches black hair, medium brown, and dark brown hair. Then they have medium brown hair colors with medium brown, light brown, and lightest brown hair. And light brown with blonde options. Lightest brown, dark blonde, and medium blonde hair options for the hair makeup. It's like hair makeup. And you can see the results. They have before and after photos of what it would look like with the gray hair versus with the root touch up. Now I wouldn't put this all over per se um, to like section your hair and put it all over. I would mostly just put it right where you want that coverage. For example, right here I did place the root coverage 
on my ends here. I mean, on my roots here, on the inside of my hair. But what I would do is just spray it right on top here and not really worry about what's underneath because this is where it's gonna show the most. So you don't necessarily need to do the rest of your hair, just the top. And that will save you product in the long run as well. Now they do have a travel friendly version. That is the cream to powder stick. This is a wax free stick. And as you can see, it looks like a makeup product, but you can use it for your hair coverage, the gray coverage like that. Wow, that's incredible. So, um, it gives instant targeted coverage for unwanted hair, gray regrowth, perfect for the hairline, temple area, and brows, especially because it's not sticky or waxy. It doesn't have a dry time, and you can shampoo it out. It is a temporary fix that gives you instant coverage for your grays. Let's shift gears to our prime energy drinks, our prime beverages. These are different caffeinated and non-caffeinated drinks for um, boosted energy and uh, some added vitamins as well. Um, this one has 10% coconut water, the Glowberry version that is naturally flavored. It is a hydration drink, so it keeps you hydrated. Um, this one is considered a sports drink. And then we have the blue, rice, blue raspberry energy drink with caffeine. And it is created vegan. Now, I really like the coconut, the coconut sports drink because it has a lot of electrolytes. And it also has magnesium vitamin e and vitamin b12 vitamin b6 as well as potassium and not much sugar there's only uh, one gram of sugar in here and this is created with coconut water concentrate so i like to give it a quick shake these are available with discount especially the sports one is right now 10% off and the blue raspberry uh, carbonated energy drink this one has a little bit of a kick to it this one is on prime big deal for 20% off so you can check out that discount in the product carousel now this one is caffeine free And the Prime Drinks is actually called um, Prime Hydration. I really like this one. It has a little bit of uh, a sweet, tangy, coconut flavor. The coconut is not too strong. I find that coconut water is much um, softer in taste than coconut milk or coconut um, coconut uh, flakes. Coconut flakes are like my worst enemy. I don't like coconut flakes, but coconut water I love so much. This one is... Um, it tastes very, it looks like it would be like very like artificial, but it tastes very fresh and it tastes very um, natural. It is naturally flavored as well. So you're not gonna get um, like a, a strange taste to your drink. It tastes really yummy and they are on discount right now. 
This one has extra vitamins, potassium, and magnesium to um, boost how you feel as well as coconut water so it's going to keep you hydrated. Um, I find that coconut water, because it has electrolytes in it, sometimes it's better than, uh, it makes you feel better than just drinking water itself because the electrolytes helps to hold hydration in your body, which is great for when you're doing fitness or when, uh, for example, my husband is currently fasting and he's on a one meal a day diet for his, um, for his, health reasons and so it really helps him to drink coconut water just to have that added hydration and even if you were to incorporate uh, a walk a day having extra hydration and making sure that you're staying moisturized throughout the winter is very important because the air tends to get much drier having electrolytes and extra hydration in your body is going to help the rest the rest of your skin look more hydrated and glowy and it's going to help um keep things flowing <laughs> in the best way possible it smells really nice as well it almost smells like gummy bears it smells like gummy bears it smells like gummy worms It totally smells like gummy bears. I don't know how they naturally flavored this. Let's see what it says. Prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function with bold, thirst-quenching flavors to help you refresh. We're confident you'll love it as much as we do. Humbly, the Prime team. This is 10% coconut water. They do have vitamin Bs in here as well as antioxidants with berry icons and 550 milligrams of electrolytes. I didn't even know that they put that here. But that's really great because electrolytes um, are found in coconut water. They're also found in different uh, salted sports drinks or like salt, sodium based sports drinks to help your body retain moisture. So refreshing. I really like this. Especially because it doesn't have a uh, carbon carbonation in the drink. It tastes much more natural than other uh, drinks that I've had before, like vitamin water or um, you don't really taste that like synthetic taste. I should throw some ice in here. Ah. Oh, it tastes so good. Ah. I actually think I was dehydrated today. That was yummy. Check out the Prime deal that's happening for the Prime Hydration Sports Drink and the Prime Energy Drink. I'm gonna talk about my Beats Solo 3 because they are on sale for 50% off. The Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones have a really great deal right now. I actually love using these to focus and concentrate on my work or to take a walk, have some really nice music playing or listen to my podcast. I think these solo threes are the best for music because 
they are curated with the equalization to make your music sound like the way that they would in the studios when the artists recorded the songs so that you have the accuracy of what the music actually is supposed to sound like and you don't lose the quality of the actual sound engineering they are on-ear wireless headphones it comes with a carrying case as well as a micro usb cable so these actually charge with micro usb instead of usb-c they're wireless bluetooth and have 40 hours of wireless playtime as well as a fast fuel mode so when you're charging your headphones you charge them for five minutes you can actually listen to music or use the headphones for three hours from five minutes of charge which is crazy that's super fast um what's really helpful as well is the buttons on this phone it has a built-in wireless microphone i it's not my favorite microphone because i find sometimes it's a little um I'm trying to think how it sounded. I did a live stream once with these headphones connected to my phone. You know what? I could probably switch over. Let me see if you can actually hear the difference. So if I switch over to my phone. You'd be able to hear the difference. Connected my audio to my headphones. This is what the microphone microphone sounds like on the Beat Solo Three wireless, and um, I think that I did like the microphone on Bees more than the AirPods. I don't know what it was about the AirPods, but the AirPods had like a really fuzzy sound let me listen to how this sounds actually i'm very interested to see what it's like compared to my my regular phone Let's see what it sounds like. Testing. Testing. Oh, the audio is not bad. Testing. Oh, the audio is not bad. That's pretty good. The audio is coming from my headphones. Oh my gosh. Lisa looks so scary there in the back. Lisa, are you okay? She looks so scary. <laughs> Oh yes, another thing that I really liked is the um, controls managing the music and your calls by clicking the button. So there are three buttons on here, I believe. There's the circle button here where you can turn it on and off. You can also control the volume as well with these buttons here on the left side down for lowering the volume, up for raising the volume. And then on this side, you press the center button to pause music, to start music, to pick up calls and to end calls. So it's very useful because I like the fact that you have these buttons here accessible. It's not like a touch feature so that you're accidentally pressing things, but because they are um, like it's a, like a button, then you're sure that you pressed it or not. Now there is a battery fuel gauge as well. So if you look on the side of the headphones, there's five lights here that shine and show you how full the battery is. 
or not. So I'm going to press it right now. And you can see it's shutting off just like that. But when I turn it on, it'll show you that the battery is full. It is connected again to my earphones. And um, what Dr. Dre says is people aren't hearing all the music. With beats, people are going to hear what the artists hear and listen to the music the way they should, the way I do. And um, it comes in this really nice quality box. The way you open it, I believe, is by sliding it through. Yeah, this was the way. So it just pops right open like this. Comes with a carrying case that you can use to hold your headphones, as well as an instructional manual, safety guides. There's some instructions on the button so you can Play, pause, receive, hang up calls, and you can turn on your microphone with the center button. And then the top button is going to be raise the volume, the bottom bu button is going to be lower the volume. So during wireless use, you can control the music and manage calls with the B button, adjust the volume above and below. And it also has information on connecting your phone and charging it. So wireless setup is very easy. You just hold the button for five seconds. And on your device, you just go to your Bluetooth settings and set it up. However, this is created with the Apple, I believe the 10 chip. The Apple, I believe it's called the 10M chip. Let me double check here. Yeah, the iPhone is going to connect to your headphones with iOS 10 or later. Because of the integrated Apple chip, when you are two inches away with the headphones connecting to your iPhone, it's going to connect automatically, which is really, really useful very easy to set up and charging will literally just be plugging it in and it'll start charging right away with the micro usb cable you can use any micro usb cable you have um, i find a lot of devices don't use micro usb anymore so it's nice to have a use for these micro usb cables I didn't even realize there was a hook. This is really great. I love that there's a heavy duty hook here. You can hook it to your backpack side or you can hook it to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that because that's cute. Um, you can hook it to any uh, jacket hooks that you have. And the box is really great quality as well. I know the Gen Zs are making fun of us millennials for keeping our boxes. But it's a good quality box. Why would you just toss it? I organize my stuff in these boxes, like inside my shelves and drawers. Look, so good. Now, let me show you my yellow one. I think I'm actually going to pop these into the case so you can see the carrying case. These are the club yellow color. I love that the Beats Solo um, 
three wireless on-ear headphones. Change up the colors here and there. The rose gold is on sale for 50% off right now, which is a crazy deal. I remember when these first came out, they were three, $400. Right now, you can grab them for $99, which is such a great grab. Now, as you saw, it does collapse like this at the hinges. They are also adjustable to change them up to the length of your ear and your head size. Now, you can fold them up like this. And they fit really nicely into the high quality carrying case that comes with a silicone rubberized zipper. Just pop them right in. And you can zip it up like so. And then you can carry it around like this. I love the design of this case because you see the logo there for the Beats headphones. And with the hook, the hook is also branded. But with the hook, you can hook it onto your bag or your uh, jacket or you can hook it onto uh, your your belt as well, your belt hooks on your pants. And it makes it really convenient to carry these as you go. But another thing that I noticed is that the zipper ends at the top. So you're never going to end up losing these headphones because if the zipper ended up at the bottom, there's a chance that it could open up and create a hole for your headphones to fall out. But this design of the carrying case is curated so nicely where you can actually zip it up and know that the zipper is not going to come down or come loose because it is landing right there at the top. So I love this design. I'm actually going to toss this on one of my um, jacket hooks so that I have it with me like this. Very lightweight as well because they are on the ear headphones. They aren't um, over the ear like this, super big. They're smaller form factor, so it's going to be very easy to use. Now, do you hear this ASMR? Let me check. Because... Oh, yeah, you do hear that. That's so funny. ASMR. That's so nice. But I love these headphones. Um, as you can hear, the audio is pretty good on these headphones compared to my AirPods. I don't like my AirPods audio. I don't, I don't like how it sounds. But that was our Amazon live stream for Prime Day. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your couple hours left of finding deals on Amazon. My name is Nemi, and I'm streaming on the Nemi Park Amazon Live channel. You can follow this channel for future updates and future deals. Under this live stream, you can click the follow button. Thank you so much, Cat60, for following our Amazon Live channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.